Hello and welcome back. In my line of work of maintenance and installation, one thing which is always very important is the stability of the system I'm looking after. Um, and for that reason, most of the systems which uh, New Web Aquatics installs and maintains are the systems where the water changes are only done when it's absolutely necessary, almost never. We are trying to keep the system balanced and in a good condition um, by taking the things which are not supposed to be in the water and adding things which are uh, used by the um, corals and living things in the fish tank. You know from my work, and I very often put the pictures um, on the social media, I am a great fan of Alcatronic and Dosatronic, the team. So I use them very often, but I had the opportunity to look into something new coming from Spain. On today's video, I am going to show you something quite exciting coming to European market, um, and it's called Zepta Auto Balance. Zepta um, has developed a machine which does measure and dose the um, three-part boiling system um, into your marine tank. Now I'm going to show you quickly the video which was unpacking video um, of the first machine I got August last year and for disclaimer all the machines I bought uh, are bought. Um, I have been better, better tester but not given the machine which is a story for some other time, uh, but I am very pleased that I did and so far I have purchased two more machines which are running on my client's tank and one is going to be installed here on one of my systems. So let's quickly look at the video of what's inside the box. So as you can see, the uh, box is pretty nicely done and um, inside the box you will got, get the machine with all the additional bits you need, the hoses, the clip to attach the hoses in your sump. And on the side of that, um, Zepta provides you a liter of reagent. Um, this is going to be available in a 5 liter canisters as well, all pre-mixed, done for you, so you don't have to measure anything and dilute the concentrated liquid. Um, reagent and as well in a starter pack they will be providing the salts let me just show you so for example this is 
KH part and this is going to be a trace part. They, the salts are called KH, um, then you have calcium and you have trace. Now, I have not done the ICP test on the trace uh, because I presume that is the one which contains all the uh, other elements uh, apart from uh, uh, magnesium. However, the tank which has been running using these uh, liquids from Zepta is running to the such a level of stability that I um, have been quite astounded actually. The basic um, elements um, of calcium, magnesium, uh, strontium, they're not changing for the last four months in the tank. Disclaimer, the tank is newly set up and it is using small quantities, but even on those small quantities, um, there is no change in terms of the um, macro elements which are in there, basic elements. Um, this is the picture of the tank. And I had the pleasure to install this tank based on the customer spec they wanted it um, looking as it is and the corals all coming from the farm um, here at New Wave Aquatics. Now, the, what I wanted to do this video about apart from unpacking and showing the machine, which I have one here which is going on the wall in the next hour or so, is that this machine will be, uh, it's extremely easy to be set up. I'm sure there will be a lot of videos on how to set up this machine, how to ha calibrate, how to... However, if you follow the instructions provided by Zepta, I have to say it is that easy. This is a Wi-Fi machine which connects to your network and that is as well very easy. There are no issues. As long as you make sure that you're connecting it to 2.4 gigahertz option because nowadays your router will have option of 5 gigahertz which this machine doesn't use. When it started, this machine was not uh, meant for cloud, which I presume that relates to the price of the machine, because I'll talk about it in a minute. Um, however, uh, being somebody who was giving suggestions back to Zepta what to do and what to improve, they have followed every single uh, step of the way. The very compact look, because this machine, as you can see, I'm holding it almost in one hand, that's how light it is. The very interesting is that everything is compacted here. The measuring and the dosing, it's all in one box. So you don't have to have much space in your sump to find the space for this machine. These are camera pumps which are well known in industry as a reliable pumps and they're very quiet. So when the machine starts working, putting water in, emptying water out, dosing, you will definitely not hear it. The one thing you might have to hear, and there is no two ways about it, is the stepper motor when it starts dosing the reagent into the beaker which goes into this section here. But compared to the noises of some other machines, I have to say this is one of the quietest machines. The nice feature of this machine is the probe is going through the hole at the top into the beaker at the bottom. Easy to be pulled out to be calibrated, which I think is a fantastic thing, especially for somebody like me who has to calibrate this, these machines all the time. Everything is marked at the front, what's going where, so you don't need to worry which uh, pump is doing what, it's all there, what's in, what's out, and straightforward uh, 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 plumbing of the unit. However, don't forget one thing. I had this question passed to me about many um, um, uh, for many people about, for example, um, there was issue with dosatronic when it came out on the market, it's pulling air. Um, your dosing chambers, which you're usually using, uh, no matter how good made they are, you have to check that there is no air being pulled into the supply hose to any machine from the joint where your hose is uh, put into the, uh, connected to the dosing chamber. Now, for that reason, I have to say, I don't even think about it. I just dump the hose straight in. Now, I know some people say, what about the evaporation? I put a bit of tape just to close that bit. There is no air going in, so there is no precipitation of any kind. So you need to learn about your machine. You need to calibrate it. You need to do all those things. But from the experience of somebody who has already installed two of these, I am well impressed in terms of how uh, easy it is to install, calibrate, 
update firmware, all of that stuff, that, that easy. Now, why do I think this machine is great? This machine operates um, on, a, a, on, a, on a principle that you do not need to think how much liquid is needed to start the dosing. So a machine on its automatic mode, where you're using Zepta uh, boiling salts, operates really measures the alkalinity, measures the KH, and based on that calculates, based on the liters of your tank, the stock levels which you enter uh, into the app, and um, is it light or heavy load of the tank, calculates how much of each of these three uh, uh, parts it needs dosing. Now, very nice about that bit is that if you have a light load in a tank to start with, you do not need to follow absolutely everything. You can reduce calcium and trace elements down to 80% of what machine will calculate to dose. KH, you cannot change, machine will dose that much, how much it calculates it needed for your literage of your tank, which proved very useful in uh, setting up something automatic like this, so there is no need for you to worry, is it going too much, is it going too low, machine will just always dose that much, and whenever it measures, it will dose that much, so you never go way above or way below, it doesn't adjust the quantities of dosing based on anything else but the measurement. So it will not increase amount of liquid it will put just based on um, anything else but the KH measurement. I have to say that is quite reliable because on the tank I just showed you the picture, the basic parameters of calcium, magnesium, strontium, um, even potassium, um, when done ICP tests have not have changed since October last year when it was all set up. So, now, I am, as you can see behind me, I'm fan of Fauna Marin when it comes to boiling light, uh, boiling uh, 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 salts and dosing, and I've been using them in lots of the tanks. The question is, can I use Fauna Marin? Now, I have not used any other um, products different brands with this particular machine because I have not yet established where are the micronutrients or other elements in this um, product, in the product boiling salts made by Zepta. I presume they're all in a trace because if you know Fauna Marin and use the Fauna Marin, certain trace elements are going into the calcium, certain trace elements are going into the uh, KH solution. So um, until that I find that out, I will um, stick with uh, Zepta products for this machine. However, if you are savvy um, uh, 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 reefer and you don't mind testing it how it works, by all means, uh, boiling salts are boiling salts. So you can put anything you would like, um, as long as you are aware how is that gonna influence uh, dosing, understanding that you can control calcium and trace bit, but you cannot control KH. So KH will always dose 100% of the amount, and others you can reduce as as such. Oh, forgot one thing. Based on calculation, which machine does, you can push the boundary to go over, to dose more than it's calculated, which I think is great. The additional feature which Zepta has done uh, there is something which I was very pleased with uh, um, uh, uh, Alcatronic, and that is that you can do the correction of the measurement. Now, KH to be measured, most of the kits are very good. I'm talking about the hand kits which we use to measure alkalinity, and I always check the calibration of the machine based on those ones. And with Alcatronic, you, if you didn't mix the reagent properly, or there is air, or there is a certain blockage, you might be getting not accurate uh, measurements. Therefore, you can adjust it. Same, you can adjust uh, on um, 
uh, zepter and go that way uh, if you need to until you find a reason for inaccuracy. However, the two machines which are running at the moment, I did not have to use that feature at all. I did not have to adjust the measurement um, which machine produces of alkalinity as is the method of the fact just today I checked the machine and it works perfectly. Zepta is asking that you calibrate the whole machine, everything, all the pumps. I think um, every two weeks for the uh, pumps and every four weeks for the probe. I have followed the instructions and in all the calibration of the pumps there was never any issue. Using Camoair pumps they are pretty accurate. Probe is of a high quality and so far did not show any uh, wrong readings or readings which are out of kilter. Now the price. Um, this unit with everything which you saw in the box including one liter of reagent and two bottles of uh, calibration fluid and the set of uh, bags which are salts which you will need to dilute in the water out of water um, will cost at around 525 pounds uh, retail in the UK um, so when it comes to this hobby you know that if you are into marine hobby you have not enter the cheap territory, um, things are expensive, but for something like this machine, uh, spend is quite uh, justifiable um, because you will be getting machine which is um, reliable, easy to use and with its own liquids, uh, with its own brand of salts will give you absolutely ease in maintaining accuracy on um, elements in your uh, on in your system so from that point of view um, do I recommend it absolutely do I think it's better than the others not really depending on your uh, preference I use them both um, is it worse than others no it's not um, some of my uh, fellow reefer says oh but you can can't access it on the cloud where Zepta actually has released a better version which I've tested of the uh, cloud version of the app on which at the moment you will be able to see the results. You will be able to see the results and um, act on it. Uh, some people say well I want to act on it where I'm away. I know, I do as well. Uh, however, um, due to all sorts of reasons uh, which can cause the issues with these machines, I don't tend to change much um, when it comes to dosing or not dosing. I need to see what is the reason for sud sudden drop in the tank of alkalinity. What has happened? Uh, did the customer have a party at a house and uh, there was not enough oxygen in the room? I know it sounds silly, but y you, I, I can tell you that some of my clients, I text them and say, how many people were in the room last night? Alkalinity has dropped, pH is not right, what's going on? So the whole thing um, when it comes to having the access to these machines remotely, it can be a false economy because you rely on them specifically to do everything. This machine is, and as Alcatronic, they are fantastic, but they don't do everything. They calculate and measure and dose, but they don't do uh, everything on it. Are there any bad sides on this machine? Um, maybe hanging on the wall um, because you need to put four, four screws but even that they provided now the template which you put against the wall in the manual and you mark the holes, screws go in and machine is there. Um, I have not seen many um, uh, bad things on this machine. I am on the other hand quite technical with these things so I don't find many bad things but bottom line 530 ish pounds or less than that for something like this i think it's a very well worth it um i'm very excited um to say that hopefully soon we will be getting the additional machine which goes hand in hand and it has its own connection here uh, which is called abex which is a machine which will be measuring 
few other elements in the salt water again uh, through a quite a different approach uh, and therefore we'll be able to adjust basics of the measurement basics of the dosing based on the measurements it's doing so hopefully uh, as soon as it comes as soon as I've put put the machine through the test I'll let you know what it is but this video was basically the as before as always experience from using particular product and what we found out watch for other youtubers who will be showing their work on uh, uh, with Zepta and their experiences because it, uh, that needs to be shared more but if you have any questions about the machine this machine will be selling on our website newwearaquatics.co.uk um, and if you want to pre-order I'm here as soon as they arrive I will have a good healthy stock of these products as my clients will want them and need them for the future so speak to you soon, happy reefing, and I hope I'll see you sooner than um, a year since the last video. All the best. Bye-bye.